here we go. Oh, here's, oh, this is a really good one. So now we're gonna look at Canada thistle, and it by far is the worst of the thistles that we have because it's a perennial. And so the others are biennials, so they only re reproduce by seed. If you can stop seed production, you kill the plant. Canada thistle spreads both by seeds and by uh, underground rootstocks that spread. And so usually you find Canada thistle in dense patches. And so here we have a, a, a small patch. And the thing about Canada thistle is it's the smallest of the thistles. Uh, these here are maybe two and a half feet tall. That's about as big as it gets. Whereas a musk thistle, a bull thistle, they can get six to eight feet tall. The majority of Canada thistle you find are developing from the rootstock, not from seed. And one easy way that I can differentiate them is I look at the size of the leaves and the leaves at the base of the plants are just as large uh, or they don't get smaller as you go up the uh, stem. So you can see these leaves up here at the top of the stem are as big as these leaves at the base of the stem. Whereas if you look at our biennial thistles, they start as a rosette. And so the largest leaves are found at the base and those are part of the rosette. And then as the stem elongates in the spring, uh, the leaves get progressively smaller as you go up the stem. If we look at you know, the flower size, this is a typical size of a Canada thistle versus uh, the musk thistle. So the Canada thistle is just a much smaller plant than our other thistles, but because of that underground root system, it's the most difficult to control. So over bowl. here, this is bowl, yep. Canada thistle in the middle, not Canadian, and musk thistle on the, your whatever direction that is. Mm -hmm.